Hello everyone, welcome to Creating Power. I wish you all a pleasant listening experience. Today, I will talk about a book that I recently finished reading and that I highly recommend to anyone who loves football, sports, or inspiring stories. The book is called Messi, The Rise to Stardom, and it is written by Roy Brandon. It tells the legendary story of Lionel Messi from a small town in Argentina to a world football superstar. The first part of the book is about Messi's childhood in Rosario, Argentina. The author starts with an intriguing case, how Messi was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency at the age of 10. This is a condition that affects the body's ability to produce enough growth hormone, which is essential for normal growth and development. It can cause short stature, delayed puberty, and increased risk of health problems. The author describes how this condition developed and what the consequences were for Messi and his family. He uses stories from Messi's family, friends, coaches, and doctors to illustrate how he faced the challenges of his condition and how he never gave up on his dream of becoming a professional football player. I was very impressed by this part of the book, because it showed me how Messi overcame a huge obstacle in his life with his passion, determination, and resilience. I learned that Messi was born with a rare genetic disorder that prevented his pituitary gland from producing enough growth hormone. He had to take daily injections of synthetic growth hormone, which were very expensive and not covered by his health insurance. His parents had to pay around $900 per month for his treatment, which was more than their combined income. They had to borrow money from their relatives and friends and sometimes sell their belongings to afford the medication. I learned that Messi's condition also affected his social and emotional development. He was often teased and bullied by his classmates for being short and skinny. He became shy and introverted and preferred to spend his time playing football or video games. He also developed a strong bond with his mother Celia, who was always by his side and supported him. I learned that Messi did not let his condition stop him from pursuing his dream of playing football. He joined the local club Grandoli at the age of four, where he was coached by his grandmother Celia, who was very supportive of his talent. He later moved to Newell's Old Boys, one of the biggest clubs in Rosario, where he played for six years and became part of a famous youth team known as the Machine of 87, which won several tournaments and championships. I learned that Messi moved to Barcelona with his family at the age of 13 after he was offered a contract by the famous La Masia Academy, which agreed to pay for his medical treatment. He faced the challenges of adapting to a new country, culture, and language, but he also found new friends and mentors who helped him grow as a person and as a player. The second part of the book is about Messi's career in Barcelona and Argentina. The author summarizes three main aspects of his career, his debut, his achievements, and his leadership. For each aspect, he uses a typical story from the book to show you how Messi made his mark in the world of football. For his debut, he tells you the story of how Messi made his first appearance for both Barcelona and Argentina at the age of 17. He explains how he impressed everyone with his skills, speed, and creativity, and how he scored his first goals for both teams. For his achievements, he tells you the story of how Messi broke countless records, won numerous trophies, and scored amazing goals that left the world in awe. He highlights some of his most memorable moments, such as his four-goal performance against Arsenal in 2010, his 91-goal year in 2012, and his fifth Ballon d'Or award in 2015. For his leadership, he tells you the story of how Messi became the captain and leader of both Barcelona and Argentina. He shows you how he influenced his teammates with his style, skills, and values, and how he led them to success in various competitions, such as the Champions League, La Liga, Copa del Rey, Copa America, and World Cup. I was very inspired by this part of the book, 
because it showed me how Messi achieved excellence with humility, how he created power with passion, and how he pursued his goals with perseverance. I learned that Messi is not only a great football player, but also a great human being. He is humble, generous, and kind. He uses his fame and fortune to help others in need, especially children. He founded his own charity foundation, supported various causes, and became a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. The third part of the book is about Messi's legacy in football and beyond. The author concludes by showing you how Messi influenced a generation of players and fans with his style, skills, and values. He also shows you how Messi transcended the boundaries of football and became a global icon of culture, art, and social change. I was very impressed by this part of the book because it showed me how Messi made a positive impact on the world with his talent, personality, and actions. I learned that Messi is not only admired by millions of people who love football, but also respected by many people who appreciate his contributions to society. I learned that Messi is not only a star on the pitch, but also a role model off the pitch. Messi, The Rise to Stardom is a book that will make you admire Messi not only as a football player, but also as a human being. It will show you how he overcame adversity with courage, how he pursued excellence with humility, and how he created power with passion. It will motivate you to follow your dreams and achieve your goals. If you are interested in reading this book, you can find it on Amazon or Google Books. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Creating Power for more inspiring content. See you next time.